Alright, so welcome back here, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and continue where we've uh, at least left off here. And we're going to go ahead and start adding some of the attributes to our control curves. Um, and we're going to go ahead here and bring in a couple other joint chains so that we can control the fingers and what we want to go ahead and do here first is let's go over to our animation shelf and we're going to go ahead and grab our joint tool here jump into our front view here and we're just going to go ahead and draw the joint chain just one single joint chain we're just going to simply duplicate this so that we can go ahead and control the rotation and movement of our fingers here just to make it that much easier to go ahead and control the movement and rotation of our fingers here. So we'll just make sure that this is all going to be placed inside of the, the fingers here. Go ahead and just hit Control D. Duplicate that over. We'll go ahead and hit Control D again. Duplicate that down. Okay. Just rotating those into place here. Okay. And we'll go ahead here and parent our fingers to the joints here. So we got to parent our second finger here to our second joint chain. Go ahead and select our third finger. Go ahead and parent that over as well. So now you can see where our fingers are going to be moving properly. Okay. And we want to go ahead and parent this joint back to what is going to be our main hand control. So now when we rotate our hand, our joints and our fingers are actually going to go ahead and rotate here. Okay. So let's do the same thing here and for the right side we just want to go ahead and mirror our joint chain here. So we'll just go ahead and mirror the joint. And you can see that it's not going to mirror that um, finger geometry. So we'll go ahead and just select that one. Select that third one. Oops. I actually selected the wrong one there. That's my apologies. But that's no real big deal. We can just simply go ahead and move this just place this properly inside of the the finger here. We'll just go ahead and rotate this and place this inside of the finger. Do the same thing here for the bottom. Okay, just making sure that that top is actually fine. So we'll go ahead and re um, go ahead and parent the top finger to the base joint in that joint chain. Same thing here for the bottom ones. Then parent these three joints again to the hand control. Okay. And you can see now that we can really rotate that hand, but we can also rotate that hand independently here. I'm not actually sure why we have these fingers in here, and I think that's just because we've mirrored that joint chain, and that's fine. Okay, just making sure that I'm going to double check here on this side to make sure that nothing is sort of out of whack here. Okay. So let's go ahead here and start adding some of the attributes that we're going to need um, for our body control. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and bring in a master control for what is going to be Bender's main rig, um, at least for this portion of the character. And we can just simply use a, a circle for this. Okay, we'll just go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees. Okay, go ahead and scale this up. And I'm going to hit F4 on my keyboard so I can rebuild this curve real quick with 20 subdivision spans. Okay, and I'm going to go into vertice selection mode, and I'm going to go ahead and select every other one. Okay, and you don't necessarily have to do this. Um, you can use basically any shape that you want for your, you know, your global master control. Um, I tend to like to use a, a shape like this. So I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this, scale this in select both of these scale them in and I'm making it this small for a reason you'll see later on and I'm down the road why I'm gonna be doing this so I'm gonna need to just come in here and combine these shapes 
and just making sure that you know no matter which curve I select that that's going to be fine okay so we'll go ahead and hit call this B, um, CC Bender Master Gray controller okay so now what I want to go ahead and do here is just go ahead and change the color for this um, you can use any specific colors you want um, purple would be fine you know blue would be fine but let's just go ahead and turn this green okay as you can see here and I want to go ahead and add an attribute to this and this is going to be our um, <clears throat> first things first this is going to be our smooth controller so let's go ahead and name this smooth controller master okay we'll select green here call this animation call the blue here rendering okay and I hate to swear in this but for the last one here we're going to call this bite my shiny smooth ass mode <laughs> okay and let's go ahead here and add some attributes for what is going to be our body control here okay so come up here to modify add attribute and we're going to do these as vector or I'm, I'm sorry as floats okay so the first thing we'll go ahead and add in here is our head spin control okay he only spin, he's only going to be spinning in one direction which is the y direction okay so our minimum is basically going to be uh, say like negative 25 our maximum will be a positive 25 our default is going to be zero okay so now if we have that selected you can see we have our head spin y control here we're also going to add a door control here so he can open and close the door so door controller okay a minimum is basically going to be zero the maximum is going to be maybe 10 will probably give us um, enough control to do it fast or slow default is obviously going to be zero here okay now that we have that done we need to go ahead and add our attributes here for our hands so the first one that we're going to do is we're basically going to select both of these and we're going to call this an, um, an enumerated value which is basically going to give us a menu like a pull down menu here so we want to call this stretchy T -R -E -T -C -A, stre stretchy limb okay so the first one will be off blue is going to turn into on okay so now we're going to have a stretchy limb and you can see where it's going to give you the sort of menu we also need to add a vector control which is going to be your x y and z values and those are going to um, control your fingers so finger one oops we don't want that schwa finger one go ahead and add finger two okay we'll come in here and add finger three as well as you can see here let's come up here to our head and we want to add a control to this which is going to be called our um, eyes control which is either going to allow us to lock our eyes to the rotation of our head or it's going to allow us to um, have some independent eye control okay so we want to call this eyes follow so we'll rename this um, either body or indie which is going to mean independent okay come down here to the foot controls and we're basically going to do the same thing that we did here for for the hands just minus the the actual vector controls because you obviously see he doesn't necessarily have any toes but we need to make sure that we also have a foot bank control or foot bank controls for him and you can name them you know whatever you want so let's come in here and turn these into floats or we'll start off with a neenum and we'll call this stretchy limb again so it obviously the green one has to be the off 
the blue one on um, has to be the on so we'll go ahead and add those okay so now we'll do some floats here and just making sure that you remember that you should always have if you're doing a, a um, foot bank control you should always have a minimum that that equals the maximum so if you have a negative 10 for your minimum you want to make um, a positive 10 for your maximum so with that said let's go ahead and start our foot bank control here and there's a couple different ways that we can do this um, you can always just add a a displayable attribute in your channel box so you know what separates what um, and if you want to do that and say hey you know let's just say foot control system um, you can go ahead here and and actually add that and you can see where it's gonna give you that sort of control there but we'll go ahead and jump back we'll just call that displayable um, you can even say hey a bowling and then add that and it'll just add one and then you can just lock lock it so that it's sort of off or whatever you know what I mean but we don't necessarily need to go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and start with our foot controls here so we'll call this foot sway okay we want to float let's go ahead here make this a negative 10 for a minimum a positive of 10 and then a default of 0 go ahead and add that and you can see that we have our foot sway control there okay heel control for our second one we'll do this again as a negative 10 a 10 and then 0 for our default okay and then we'll call this foot roll for our other one and again a negative 10 10 and then 0 and that's going to give us all the control that I think we'll um, actually need for our foot there okay and I think that's going to be it for those we just need to go ahead here and add our eyes control so I'm just going to go ahead and select our eyes main control and I need to go ahead here and open up a text to actually make sure that I add all of the right controls here for what is going to be our eyes and I'm just going to go basically down the list here in adding these controls because I know that I'm going to need these um, from the start so you can see that there's a bunch of different attributes here and if I went and did it through modify add attribute that's obviously going to take a long long time so what I want to go ahead and do here is <coughs> the easiest way is probably <coughs> to use a script here and I'm just going to use the DG Add Adder script that you can download from Creative Crash. Okay. So if we go ahead and count these attributes, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There's 18 of them. So we'll go ahead here and name our attributes and put 18 of them. And they're all basically going to be the same. So. Uh, we'll just go ahead and hit add and you can see that it's going to add all 18 of those attributes so we just need to go ahead and fill in the names here so I zoom which is basically going to be a blend shape that I'm going to show you to create here um, both blink okay call this left blink okay right you really should be putting an underscore there so sometimes I forget about actually putting an underscore there okay okay All right top okay left eye bottom right eye bottom okay both I top both I bottom okay anger top I 
and those anger um, top and anger bottoms are um, going to be something that I'm also going to go ahead and actually make in terms of geometry for Bender here. Um, we're going to do this in a later lesson. Okay, so we need to go ahead and make our lid rotates now. So what are going to be our eyelids? So we want to make our left lid rotate X. And let's just go ahead and copy this. Paste it here. Call that Y. Go ahead and paste that in here. Call that Z. Do the same thing here for 16. Just changing the L to the R. Okay. To Y. And then change the L to the R. Do the same thing here for the last one. Make sure that is a Z. And then we want to change the L to the R. Okay. Default is going to be 0. The minimum for all of these is going to be 0 because we don't need a, a negative control. Um, we can simply edit those after we go ahead and add them. So let's just go ahead here with minimum of 0 and we'll make the maximum of 10. Go ahead and add the attributes and you can see where it's going to add all those attributes here at once. Okay. And for right now I think that's um, fine to, to go ahead and do that. Okay. So in the next lesson we'll go ahead and come back and we'll start adding some more of the, the facial control stuff and continue working on what is going to be Bender's control rig.